Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Venus transiting the ninth house in a natal chart. Now, if your house is average size at 30 degrees, well, on average, Venus will transit the house for approximately 25 days, but that is only if Venus is in direct motion for that entire transit. Now, if your house size is larger and or Venus uh, is retrograde at any point during the transit, then it will be longer. Well, anyway, people, well, first thing I look at when Venus is transiting uh, one's uh, natal uh, ninth house, well, this could be a period if you have in-laws, well, it might be a time where you show perhaps more tact, more diplomacy. Uh, it might, if you're, there's some rift between you and, and any one of them, this might be a time for reconciliation. You may bring the art of compromise into these, uh, into these relationships. Uh, this could be a, a time, let's say, if the situation between you and in-laws, perhaps if it's a contentious at all or, or acrimonious, then this could be a period where you try uh, to come to some agreement and you, you really you try to reconcile uh, the differences and try to come about some kind of compromise or resolution. Now, the ninth house is also associated with grandchildren. So if you happen to have uh, grandchildren and if there is any rift between you and them, this could also be a period for perhaps reconciliation and, and being able to find some kind of compromise. And, and really, this could be a generally all around auspicious period for things that are ninth house related, such as religion, perhaps higher education, abstract thinking, uh, times with the in-laws and, and grandchildren, if applicable. Uh, things of a philosophical nature. This might be a period where if you hadn't had the money in some time to, to, uh, to go uh, to take a college course or some post high school uh, course, perhaps now you may be more inclined to have the funds to do so. Uh, this could be a period where you might, because if you're unattached and you're not in a relationship uh, at the current time well you might be become involved maybe with somebody that might be from another country from another uh, somebody of a different culture uh, different uh, ethnicity uh, perhaps somebody that you meet uh, on some uh, trip to another country perhaps a person that might be rather religious it could even be somebody if you're a church going person and you're a member of a certain congregation then you may, maybe you meet this person, uh, you, you might become romantically involved with somebody from this congregation. Uh, this could be a period where you may show a love, uh, a strong love for ninth house things, such as philosophy, such as higher education, abstract thinking, and may express more uh, of a stronger love than maybe you ordinarily do, and, and especially maybe outwardly, perhaps with grandchildren if applicable, and perhaps with in-laws if applicable. Now, this could be uh, a time also when, when you look at this, it's really, uh, even if you're not, even if your chart suggests you're rather introverted and introspective, you may come across a little bit more gregarious and more outgoing uh, in this period than usual. You might be in a period where you might feel a strong urge to expand your horizons and go out of your box, so to speak. Even if you're somebody that's generally like a sedentary or, or fairly stagnant person, if you will, you may be, feel more inclined to be a little bit more adventurous now uh, than usual. It could be a period where you, you just really, uh, you, you feel the, the need to deviate from the norm and, and maybe in your life you might feel that things are becoming a little bit too monotonous and you just feel like you have a strong need to go outside of the box and be, be able to do things that maybe you haven't done before. I mean, this could be virtually anything, could be going to an amusement park, going on some roller coaster, 
uh, ride or something, or or just going uh, going to going to some stadium to watch some sporting event. It could be just maybe going doing some just general exploration. Maybe it's a time where you feel more of an enjoyment. Maybe to go out on on some adventure or, or go on some some trip or something. And th this could be this is really the outside of the box uh, period. So. Also, uh, th this could be uh, a time where maybe you might have more, uh, maybe a philosophical, maybe discussion. Perhaps uh, you might have a love, uh, more of a love for uh, philosophy at this time, and you might feel that maybe, uh, maybe you might feel if you're if you're already involved with somebody with, with a significant other. Uh, maybe this is a time where maybe this person shows a little bit more of a philosophical side uh, than usual, and you may be do, and you may very well do the same thing at this point, and you may really feel more of a need to learn things that you hadn't uh, learned before. You might have that that real uh, that real uh, strong. Uh, you may really want to go, even if you're not planning on attending college or post high school. Uh, studies, you might feel a need to learn some subjects, maybe that you you don't really you're, you're not knowledgeable out of, and you want to, and you might have a strong need to learn them at this time. So anyway, it's also important to look at the sign that Venus is in during this transit, as this could flavor the transit. Now, let's say, for example, that Venus is in Leo for either the majority or the whole time of the transit to your ninth house. Well, this could indicate perhaps uh, you may be more magnanimous and show more generosity, perhaps toward in-laws and or grandchildren during this time if you have them. And you might spend a little bit more uh, money uh, on them than usual and show and might be a little bit more extravagant during uh, this time. Now, another example, let's say that Venus is in Virgo for either the majority or the whole time of the transit to your ninth house. Now, this could indicate you might be a little bit more uh, frugal, perhaps in connection with maybe long distance traveling. And this could also uh, be... Uh, a need where you might have a love, perhaps of uh, of service, to uh, to perhaps in-laws and grand and or grandchildren if you have them, and you might show maybe show that love by being of service to uh, to them and doing doing things for them. So, let's uh, anyway. It's also important to look at the aspects that are made uh, from this tra from transiting uh, Venus in the ninth house to your natal planets and points as this could impact the transit. Now let's say for example that transiting Venus in your ninth house is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal Saturn. Well this could indicate that this maybe this expression of love for in-laws for example uh, may be blocked if you do have the in-laws and also uh, there might be some delays if you're trying to get money for long journeys or or take or going to college uh, you might have that need to, to want that that money more to to do this but there might be some delay uh, in this so Another example, let's say that transiting Venus in your ninth house is making a sextile or trine to your natal Uranus. Well, this could indicate perhaps unanticipated uh, positive change, perhaps in the love life, and maybe even uh, perhaps being in the ninth house, maybe with a foreigner or somebody that's of a different ethnicity or, or culture. And it could be more of a love uh, for or somebody that might have more of a love uh, for the eclectic or the unusual. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Venus transiting the ninth house in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Venus transiting the 10th house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, 
based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.